Okay, let's turn our attention also to Tesla because Dan Howley is following another additional rollout of software that people might like. Dan? Yeah, this is uh, basically a new feature that is able to detect the speed limit by looking at speed limit signs uh, and then provide drivers with uh, an alert telling them if they've exceeded the speed limit uh, that's posted. Uh, you'll get a, a readout of the speed limit as well uh, on your kind of uh, dashboard uh, there in the Tesla. Uh, and it'll also provide you with the chime if you're sitting at a, a green light uh, rather than rolling forward. This is from uh, Electric, by the way, who's reporting it. Uh, and it's interesting because it's another addition to what Tesla has to offer as far as the self-driving features go. But again, this is not full self-driving. You know, as much as Elon Musk likes to say that, in reality, these are all driver assistant technologies that allow you uh, to feel safer while you're driving, uh, help give you an idea uh, of whether or not you're doing something wrong uh, while behind the wheel. This is not full self-driving. Full self-driving, where you see a car literally, you know, leave the driveway of your home and then drive itself to work while you, I don't know, watch Netflix or uh, pass out. And that's not going to be here for some time now. So it is an interesting addition to Tesla, but it's not nearly uh, close to the full self-driving that people have been expecting for years. Hey, Dan, this uh, news, my reaction is, so what? Um, Tesla does have probably the best uh, electrification technology on the market. It does not have the best um, self-driving technology on the market necessarily. Uh, why? Does this even matter? I think it, it just helps prove that the vehicles are able to see things like that. Uh, they are able to react to actual road conditions. But there are other uh, self-driving technologies that can do that as well. Uh, as you said, there are other uh, vehicle manufacturers, GM uh, has their own, uh, that does you know, self-driving where this driver assisted self-driving very well. I think uh, for Tesla, it's more showing its customers that it's continuing to provide these iterative updates to the self-driving uh, you know, autopilot feature that they have. Uh, but you know, I think as uh, you probably uh, have feel, uh, feel as well as others, it's not fair to really call this self-driving in and of itself. In fact, it's dangerous to do so.